pr proud of our group um, bouncing back from yesterday, uh, you know, especially our second half. Um, to be able to play defense the way we did after struggling in the second half uh, yesterday, I think it shows the character of this group, and hopefully we can continue uh, to be that type of team defensively in that second half. Todd Hefferman. Well, I mean, we talked about them, you know, obviously after the game yesterday, we talked about it before the game today, and, and, and you know, was, the guys made their game goals last night, and one of their game goals was to make sure that uh, Bradley scores less points in the second half than they do in, in the first half, and I think the guys took ownership of that, uh, and, you know, I thought Lance started off the second half great with his ball pressure and his intensity, and I, th I think that's contagious with our team. You know, what, what, did you, what was the, I guess, was that, what did you want on the last play? Lance was able to get, get by Henry. Is that what you really wanted with eight seconds, or was there another option? No, yeah, we were trying to get Lance to the basket. It was a misdirection play. Uh, you know, a couple guys going different ways, and then uh, Lance opened up the lane for Lance to create. Oh, uh, you know, I thought he was going to make both of them. Uh, you know, I, I talked to Lance last night. You know, he had similar positions yesterday. Um, he had the ball in his hands for a couple times late game, and I told him the ball is going to continue to be in his hands, and, and I'm going to trust him. And um, you know, last night he kind of settled for a long three uh, towards the end of the game, and today he attacked the basket, got to the free throw line. So uh, I think everyone in the program has confidence in Lance. You only had four turnovers in the second half. Just how crisp was your, was your offense for the most part in the second half today? Yeah, it was. It was. You know, at times it was good. In the you know towards the end of the game, last four or five minutes, we got a little stagnant. Uh, Bradley did a good job taking away some things. But the turnovers led to a lot of points for Bradley in the first half, and we can't afford to just give you know eight to ten points off our turnovers to another team. Thank you, Adam Warfel. Coach, it was the second game in a row that Riplakin had some big shots. What does he mean to your team when he goes out there and has the big shots that he's had here recently? Uh, you know, he's just getting better and better. Obviously, he, he's his role is expanding um, since Marcus has been out and he stepped in. And you know, it's a credit to the work he's put in before he's got this opportunity, so that he's ready for it. Uh, and he's getting more comfortable, and I think he's only going to continue to get better through the rest of the season. Yeah, you know, I, I think Trent, you know, probably didn't play the way he wanted to these last three games. And, you know, uh, Trent's one of our toughest kids, and he's a mentally tough kid, and, and you know, he accepts every challenge. He, he guards, you know, the other team's best players a lot of times. And, you know, he's also, you know, with Marcus out, expected to pick up the scoring. So, you know, I think it was good for him to see the ball go in a couple times. And, you know, he's got to be aggressive like that. He's a really, really good shooter. And, you know, he took 10 threes, and I thought nine of them were really good shots. And, uh, you know, that's what we want from him. You know, after Terry Nolan Jr. put up 21 points yesterday, you guys limited him to seven. Was he part of the defensive game plan for today? Or? Yeah, yeah, obviously Childs and Nolan. Uh, we needed to do a better job on those two guys if we wanted to be successful today. And I thought Kyler did another good job on, on Childs. And then, and then, uh, with, with Nolan, you know, he's such a, a talented scorer. You know, we had to pressure him a little bit more, and I thought Lance did a pretty good job. Steven did a pretty good job of that. All right, Coach, that's all I have. Thanks. Uh, did I hear one more person join us late? Yeah, John, it's me, Adam King. Got any questions for Coach Mullins? Yeah, Coach, um, nobody wants to be without one of their best players in you know Marcus Demas, but you guys now have, have gotten a couple wins without him. How much are you learning about your team without him, and, and how much promise does this give to your team once you plug him back in? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, uh, I'm proud of our guys. You know, obviously losing Marcus, uh, 
you know, you know, especially offensively and defensively, he's, you know, it's 35 minutes a game for us, so it's not an easy adjustment just to change. And we're still figuring out rotations and lineups and defensive rotations and, and some offensive stuff. But I think it just shows uh, the confidence that the other guys on the team have, and, and that we have other good, really good players besides Marcus. And you know, a lot of these guys have a lot of years left of wearing the SIU jersey. So you know, we're looking forward to growing with them and continuing to get them better. Well, we got to continue to get better every day. You know, I think we're a better team uh, this weekend than we were uh, against uh, Northern Iowa and, and, and against Indiana State. So if we can continue to get better, um, you know, heading into Arch Madness, you know, you know, obviously, you know, everyone's playing three games, hoping to play three games that weekend and, and hoping to get a championship. But for us, you know, we got to come back. We got to watch the film tonight and we got a short turnaround. We go to Missouri State, play Wednesday. So we got to get better these next two days if we want to have success at Missouri State. Oh, man, we're going to be on the bus for that one. I'm sure guys will be streaming on their phones and stuff. Uh, I'm going to go one more time with Brady. I'm going to go one more time with Brady. Uh, you know, okay. So we'll see what happens. I appreciate it, Coach. Appreciate you, Coach. Thanks. We're going to...